we are going to do a quick preview of Zam Pro. You can see now that you have more than three collectors. You can choose as many collectors as you want and which ones you want by right clicking and just clicking on it to add it. You can scroll up and down to see them or you can increase the size of the Zam window to see all of them without scrolling. I don't want this many, so I'm going to take the 30 second out and decrease the size of the Zam a little bit smaller. And you can right click on any of these spaces to choose exactly what you want to see. And I want to see watts and watts per kilogram, so I'm going to choose both. Down here, you can right click and choose to have kilometers per hour or have it toggle the way it was before or see just miles per hour. Same here, you can have it toggle or see just one or the other. Now we're going to go up to the splits window, which we'll get more into that in just a second. But on the laps window, you see how much larger this lap button is for all of you that wanted to see it better. Here you can change the color of your window. So you have a few different options here for color. And then you can also make it transparent or you can be able to see and just click the check mark. And then you have a lot of other options to change text as well. And now we're going to go down to the menu and see that now with the, you can choose exactly what your splits are. So you can put in the exact time of the splits that you want. So if you're racing a hilly course, you can put in custom splits instead of having it automated. So this is just a quick little preview. We'll be testing this out for the next week to make sure there are no bugs and rolling it out soon.